these sections have kind of rank ordered who are the better groups of investors to go to at what time. And so the short answer is you kind of go to whoever you can go to. I mean, to get money, you go to whoever you can go to. At the, in the tech, if you're in the technology, if you're in stage one, you should definitely be thinking about the government right now. Agencies have needs. So you have to dig into the agencies and find out, are they funding my space? So that's why the government is front and center. And if they are, and Gary can help you, uh, you have to dig into the agencies. And you know, we can kind of go around the room if anybody has a question. They know, Angela, like Department of Homeland, you know, there's a lot in your space that the government is doing and where they're at. You know, Christian Department of Education, uh, Ron Sports, maybe Department of Education, you're doing social. I think, you know, it's, it's worth looking into. Uh, strategic partners, anybody in stage one and two? Absolutely. I mean, strategic partners all the way through this because you're in business and if you're going to a strategic partner, you're crafting a value proposition. You're increasing the value of your business, theoretically. When you're going to an investor, investors are arm's length. Investors don't add any value to your business. They're going to say, where are you with strategic partners? So, sure, if you convince an investor, yes, value goes up. Convince a strategic partner and, and working to create a pitch to a strategic partner is arguably increasing the value of your business. You're actually, how do I improve my business by convincing this partner I have a puzzle piece? Um, I don't know what, if that's applicable to me or not, but just a general question, and other people may be thinking it. With a strategic partner, and I don't mean you have to go into some long thing where I'm holding up, but like, how do people know, I mean, maybe you might recognize for your industry what would be a good fit, but what, I think a lot of the things that hold people up to is just relationships and percentages. It's just not knowing uh, business-wise what, what's what's fair market rate for things and stuff like that. Like how to, how to, like he's shaking his head. That's the thing I think a lot of times is you just don't have that knowledge. So you, do, you want to go into something fair and equitable and, and I don't know, like how do you know that kind of thing? So that question, <laughs>